Okay, good night, dear colleagues. Uh, I'm uh, Sebastian Liao from uh, Taiwan. And today my topic is, is a pretemporal transmacos cave approach for a large petroclival meningioma. And this is my C uh, CV. And I, I had my training in Taipei Veterans General Hospital, Taiwan. And I've been a uh, faculty in the uh, WFNS 2017 as a uh, moderator and being a uh, assistant in a uh, cadaver dissection uh, course is uh, sponsored by Oscar Lab Academy. And my main publications is about uh, the CTA, um, using CTA to diagnose the paraclinoid aneurysm. And the second one is today's uh, speech. And it's my honor to have the chance uh, to give a talk and I have no uh, disclosure. And this, this, this paper uh, was published in 2000, 2018, and I have to thank my mentor, Sanford Su, Su, and he's also the next speaker, and I learned a lot from him. And first I showed this image. Um, everyone sees this tumor and may have his own way to operate this uh, large petroclival meningioma, a, a 5.5 5 plus five uh, cubic centimeters. And we can see that this tumor extended into the uh, Macos cave and encasing the uh, basilar artery and, and pushing the midbrain, the brainstem uh, severely. Um, today, uh, Professor Sami has also uh, talked about the re retrosigmoid approach, and now I, uh, uh, today my, uh, this approach is uh, transmacos cave, and this approach is uh, consisted of two approaches, it's a uh, Dolank approach and Kawase approach, and just like uh, previously mentioned, Kawase approach is a limited uh, exposure. It has to be uh, combined with other approach to gain more uh, surgical corridor to treat a, a large uh, petroclival meningioma. And uh, the concept of this uh, approach is combined the length and Kawase approach. And we call it a pretemporal transmacos cave transtentorial approach. And the, uh, it is paramount uh, this approach to uh, open uh, the Macos cave and incise the tentorial incisura to create a, a param paramount view to the uh, suprasella and uh, uh, interpetangular and posterior fossa spaces. And it is important to remove the ACP and Petros apex and connect the two, uh, two dots together. It means that we incise the tentorial incisura and um, open the Macos cave so we can uh, remove the tumor from the uh, anterolateral approach from uh, middle fossa to posterior fossa. And this is uh, our uh, surgical incision. It is a, a traditional terional approach and with additional uh, zygomatic uh, fracture. We uh, create a trapezoid uh, shape of uh, a fracture bone of the zygoma and we reflect it downwards to create more space. And after an uh, interfacial dissection, uh, we uh, pull the temporalis muscle uh, laterally to create more space. And now I show a, a video to demonstrate this approach. Additional bone drilling was carried out down. Uh, can you hear this video, the sound? Flatten the sphenoid wing and expose the perioral. Yes, we can. Okay. Cut the meningo orbital fold. Open the superior orbital fissure. Peel the lateral wall of the camera sinus. Inject tissue glue between B1 and B2 for hemostasis. Coagulate and cut the middle meningeal artery. 
expose D3 and GSP game. Perform the anterior tetrasectomy. Check the location for Tetris ICA. Remove ACP extradurally. Drill the optics chart and remove ACP. Finish the extradural bony work. This is the surgical view of Transmechal's case, transtentorial approach in this case. We cut the dura from ACP tip to Petra's apex. A T-shaped durotomy. We performed a Transmechal's case, transtentorial approach. Dura propria was peeled to the edge of incisura. The dura was cut along the green dots. Use CUSA to debulk the tumor. Cut the falciform ligament and distal dura ring for ICA mobilization. Dissect the superior surface of the tumor away from the third ventricular floor. Expose the ACA and MCA. Continue debulking. Dissect tumor from the space created by anterior tetrasectomy. Remove the tumor invading Mechel's cave. Cut the tumor base. Dissect the tumor from the brain stain. Dissect around the tumor. And finally, remove it. Uh, you 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 can see that from uh, this video, we can uh, achieve a complete total resection of the tumor, and uh, it is not necessary to use a, a retract retraction. And from uh, in this paper, uh, we uh, conclude that the VGH experiences from uh, two thousand fourteen to two thousand seventeen, um, uh, there are eighteen uh, patients. And the mean size of, oh, we, 
only include a large petroclival meningiomas, uh, the dimension, uh, whether it's a uh, width, length, or height, are all above uh, three centimeters. And the mean tumor size uh, preoperative was uh, all over four um, centimeters. And the results was uh, the pre preoperative was about uh, 4.3 uh, centimeter and the post-op is uh, less than one centimeter. So uh, gross total uh, resection in seven patients, a near total resection, uh, more than 95% in seven and subtotal resection in four. And uh, about the complications, there's no uh, post-op uh, hemiplasia, uh, no surgical mortality, but there's some uh, facial uh, nerve palsy noted uh, in this approach because uh, we uh, mobilize uh, the uh, ocular motor nerve. So uh, all, all of the patients had a transient uh, facial nerve palsy, uh, ocular motor palsy resolved in three uh in three months, and three had uh, four uh, partial palsy and six uh, transient palsy in two patients. And we have uh, three patients with hydrocephalus and one have CSF otorrhea uh, uh, who required a second uh, repair surgery for the uh, CSF leak. And the conclusion is that a uh, pretemporal transmacral cave uh, approach. Um, in this approach, we combine the Lang and Kawase approach, and it is important to uh, incise the tentorial to cut it open and uh, to release uh, the whole space uh, from the middle fossa to posterior fossa, uh, which led us to uh, have a, a panoramic view from the suprasella, interpeduncular, prepontine, and upper half of the clival regions without uh, over traction. But this approach also has some uh, limitations. Um, as to the posterior fossa, we, the uh, CN uh, seven and eight are the lateral and lower limits, and the dorillo canal is the uh, uh, medial limitation of this approach. And, and this is my uh, talk, Th thank you.